Hello. <clears throat> Hi. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to this uh, ELSA uh, lecture. So uh, I am uh, Professor Philip Chu from uh, Chinese University of Hong Kong. So it's my uh, great honor to uh, moderate this session. And uh, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, our renowned speaker, uh, Professor David uh, Lomento. I think everybody knows him very well uh, because he's been uh, the key uh, leader in the minimal invasive surgery in Asia. So he is actually a professor from the uh, Department of Surgery at uh, National University Singapore. And uh, he served a lot of uh, leading role in, for the uh, ELSA, including uh, past president and currently secretary general uh, for ELSA, and uh, also secretary general and treasurer for IPSIS. So uh, Professor David Lomento is going to tell us uh, the, uh, in the era of uh, digital transformation. So David, please. Thank you. Thank you, Philip. Uh, it was a really great honor uh, to be part of the ELSA community and uh, thank you for your kind introduction. Uh, I will share my screen. My, my, my talk will be not uh, on, uh, on uh, any surgical content today. Uh, but we are talking about uh, the reality, what are we experience today, uh, what are uh, how we are handling this uh, kind of uh, uh, new life, a new normal, as everybody say, the era of disruption. Uh, the era of disruption happen when uh, something up dramatic and unexpected, like uh, in this case, the COVID. And then also when we cannot lie on uh, past experience and uh, past experience uh, can also serve us as a guidance for the future. So that's we, why I define the era of disruption. I think even the wheel, invention of the wheel famous was a disruption for our ancestor. And we are, we are already living in a era of disruption in terms of digital revolution. If you look at uh, what the company does today, uh, look at, for example, Uber is a bigger taxi company, but don't know, they don't know any, any car or Netflix. They don't know any cinema, but the biggest one in the movie, in the movie industry. And same other company. So we are moving more towards, uh, from people centric towards a, a centric environment based on the technology. And we, this process was a bit slow. And uh, because it was driven mostly by our millennial generation Z, and uh, we are left behind. You can see how also the, the kind of attitude of the change. They are more eco-friendly, they look at more, uh, that aspect that we consider maybe less important in, in our generation of baby boomer or generation X. But uh, suddenly, uh, the slow process of the acquired, uh, be acquainted with the digital revolution was disrupted by the COVID, the virus. And the normal life that we live was uh, suddenly upside down. And all were uh, involved, the government, the company, even the surgical society, our, us as a doctor, as a surgeon, uh, patient. And the disruption was really fast, unexpected underestimate. If you look at Singapore article yesterday, 75% of the company, they speed up on digital. And uh, this digital transformation was really amplified and by the COVID and the importance also because we need to meet the customer, the member expectation. And then we are really in a fast change reality and we need to really adapt new technology. And that's uh, happened if you look at us the same way, how, how many digital content are today available online and many part of the world uh, embrace in, uh, in changing technology, in adopting technology. So innovation, find new way, become a new normal. It was, it's not a more an option actually. It's essential if you want to survive. If you want to get together, that we need to use a, a kind of a Google Meet, Zoom, or any other technology. So I, we need to innovate faster. We need to collaborate also more efficiently. And uh, so we need to deliver and bring the, our product with the, also less effort because we can't spend much time. So time is also become essential. So why Elsa? Why uh, we start uh, this process of transformation? Because uh, 
as I say, was no more an option to keep going on the same way. So we need to adapt, integrate the technology available uh, today in all our activity, because we need to meet, we need to look at what our members, uh, they need. They require education, they require knowledge, they want update. So we need to change our, so our business model as a society. So we need to also aim to increase uh, the effectiveness of our business. It's a very generic term, but we need to adapt to our society, uh, member relation. And so to achieve this goal, we need to also change the way ELSA, the society is managed, in which how the process are uh, uh, organized also the culture of, uh, of our member, of our board, of everybody. So uh, looking around, I think these are the most, the five steps that are fundamental for any kind of digital transformation in a company. So we identify uh, the objective, uh, build up a strategy that will bring you to realize the objective, but also it's important to uh, allow and Id identify what are the enablers. So what are, what as a society we need? Uh, empower leadership and at the end of the day to, to make this process successful, we need to integrate the, this digital culture among our organization. So I will pass by through and the, how we uh, identify the objective. I think this is looking at uh, uh, what uh, our society, what are the, our member needs. I think we work out uh, with a series of uh, uh, idea, a series of project that we should uh, bring up and realize. We should bring people together in a different way using the social media. We should uh, also share more information, uh, overcoming also the better language by translating it we should have a platform that uh, bring all this technology together. Uh, we do to provide maybe more online uh, or, or learning platform because it's not possible to get together maybe for, for uh, I don't know how long. And some of the projects we we also running, we need to probably, like El Saulish program, we need to probably manage in a different way uh, that we traditionally we do. So build a strategy was important. So I get the idea finalize the concept, uh, define the pathway of the project, and then integrate and transform. And to achieve this in a short time, because time is also important, we work on the KPI as we work in any company, in a hospital, we are used to do it. So we are looking at the realization of the project, the response of our member in adoption of what we do, because we want to, the project to be useful and also reduce cost, uh, improve also, especially visibility, create awareness. So what are the technology enabled? I think we identify uh, for ELSA digital world to create a dynamic website that have a, a so-called SEO, a strategy of uh, search engine uh, organization, a membership portal where the member can access, something that are obvious, but those two, uh, they should work together with the, with the entry point. So we need to have a gate that, uh, that are the, uh, the entry point to all our digital transformation. So both the society app and both the website are the, our gate to enter to webinar, to online platform and uh, Congress and uh, video, uh, utilizing new technology like virtual reality. So the website, uh, we talk with technical people and we know that uh, must be dynamic, responsive, SEOs enabled because today integration and using some kind of technology that uh, uh, behind, in the back door, link all this project together are very, very important. So the website today is uh, quite modern. Uh, it's very accurate, it's easy to update and up, uh, it's a link behind with the so-called API technology that uh, link the, all the access of the people and the control all the traffic behind. Uh, same, the application. The application uh, was a big project that we realized and we, we are managing the conference with the same way. 
So a lot of saving cost, a lot of saving time, for example, for activities before were spread together and they require different way of uh, uh, connecting people. We can connect our members, for example. You can see on the right side a chat group in which our committee member, they don't need to use any uh, other chat, but they can use directly the digital transformation team use it, hopefully the innovation and technology board will start to use it. So an internal chat in which they can share and can uh, establish a partnership. And also the same for some topical like bariatric hernia, gastric cancer, and so on. So we'll have a moderator. Managing the Congress, I think all of you are hope they download. And you can see now what's going on and you can connect with the session. Are we successful? This is our KPI. Uh, I, I don't know, I leave to you, but uh, in five months we have 1,200 download. We have 2,000 members, 2,005 overall, but probably active at less than 2,000. And we see that our, uh, this, our KPI is success of the application. We can monitor how the people enter, what are the patients that they serve, what are the technology that they use, so it's very important to also to drive in the future uh, something that we want to push more. Establish a competent leadership. I, uh, the, because this is a, not a one-man show, two-man show, but it's a group. So we identify, we, we ask for support, uh, and we have a good of a member of a so-called millennial generation X that support us from every country because uh, we need to reach also different geographic area. Asia uh, is quite big and, and the influence from Singapore to Japan is less or from Turkey is less. So we need to have a local people that are dedicated to product. We need to be cost effective. We need to scale up the digital technology and also grow the business. How to scale up? Because uh, we can blend the technology in the user experience and adding value. How? We, we can use uh, API technology. It's a technology that is behind all the uh, internet, the medium that you use, social media, email, and everything. So is, you are able uh, for, uh, to integrate behind in the back end uh, all the access that you encounter, all the member encounter, and then you can join all of them through Facebook and other link, MailChimp for mail spray from mail blast and so on. So you can collect data because are the most important. So analytic data are important to, to show us how we can leverage, how to can improve our member experience and our need. We start up a project on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and you see how the followers are growing up. And we hope in the future we, we, we will go more. We can uh, have a repost reach of 200,000 people. We have 1,500 page view. So we are slowly growing up our uh, vis visual impact on the technology. If you see at this graphic, you can see how the peak of viewer on Facebook is when we run the webinar. And we can push on this index to move more our impact. And we see how the video are watching 9,000 by 9,000 people compared to photo and said so people want to have more video, want to have more technology. That's why we create a YouTube channel. All the conference will be there in, uh, with a playlist, uh, with the video presentation. So it's a, it's a content that before in the past, when we do a conference was lost. And imagine how, how much knowledge we, we, we lost in the past, but now we can make available for everybody for today, for the future. So see the uh, viewer impression is 30,000, uh, 3, 3%. We can see how much viewer uh, we spend more time uh, on, the, on watching video. We see 900 viewer can watch more than 45 minutes. And we can also see what are the country that have more uh, digital uh, anger like Philippines, Myanmar, because maybe the local technology, the local digital impact is much less. So they look more for content outside their own country. 
Twitter is a very new baby ball for us, but we have achieved uh, more than uh, 1, 500 followers, 1,400 following. Uh, we have a group of team led by Gafur that are really doing a wonderful job to, to spread and to, to join other people. The webinar, I believe, was uh, a great idea because we can keep all our membership together with a big weekly and uh, pointing on uh, and focusing on uh, things that are really useful, like uh, how to do a, a easing of bladder or a, a flexible endoscopy or metabolic surgery. And we also engage all the Asian community. And you can see how the number, the attendee growing, and what are the most successful too, for example, because where is where well, we need to push more, but without forgetting also the less important, uh, less important. We are building up in the future. Uh, you can see some of the preview, uh, while our online uh, learning management system. It will be an ELSA management system in which uh, from basic skill to more advanced procedure, we want to create an interactive environment in, in which we can deploy our digital learning and uh, achieve uh, more uh, what is possible that before we do on site. So you will have a basic course, emergency appendectomy and so on with video interactive. The course will be a full process in which you will have also telementory uh, yesterday, I think Aung and uh, Jeffrey were talking about uh, the process of telementary and we will have basic certification of servership and maybe uh, a full ELSA accredited certification later on. But all this culture, all this transformation must be also integrated in our organization. And uh, I'm glad that uh, all the governor, the member are very supporting and understand. Otherwise, changing and transforming a society will not make any difference if we don't adopt, uh, adopt it. So we, we can elevate our organization, but I think the people then will make it successful. So ultimately, I think we want to try in the digital age as a society and be also a sample for many others. How to overcome the an era of disruption, uh, I like to say what Steven Job say, the only way to do a great work is to love. And what you do and, and to do, you must be the, your passion. So we shouldn't be afraid of changes, of technology, of disruption. Uh, I know that sometimes it can be burning for our soul, but ultimately, actually the passion, the love of what we do, of our work, uh, keep engaged, energized, will let us to overcome this time of uh, disruption and uh, difficulty. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, uh, David, uh, for a very enlightening uh, lecture. And uh, I think uh, we are really moving into the digital age. And uh, obviously, uh, the COVID pandemics is pushing us towards uh, the boundary of the digital. And uh, thank you, uh, David, and also the leadership of ELSA to have been establishing the uh, webinar and also a uh, very nice uh, platform for um, ELSA to communicate uh, through uh, your cell phone and uh, with the ELSA app. So I think these are really, really successful story about uh, illustrating what uh, David mentioned about um, the uh, disruption of the digital age. So David, I'd like to ask uh, just uh, one question as a uh, uh, moderator. Uh, to you that uh, so now we are using a lot of digital that like you mentioned about training and also maybe um, telementoring but is there any element that you think uh, couldn't be replaced by this digitalization for our surgical training yes shaking hands <laughs> have a glass of wine have a beer create friend friendship and camaraderie because through, I think through the, through the screen is quite a cold way to do. So I think that one, we can uh, use technology. So uh, as I say in my last uh, 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 slides, I think that's how we realize that human are different from robot or machine learning. 
so we can replace uh, app, we can replace knowledge, slides, mentoring, but at the end of the day, passion and love cannot be replaced. Thank you. Thank you, David. And uh, with that, I think uh, we'll end this uh, session. And uh, looking forward to the next session. Thank you, David. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Philip. Thank you very much.